In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to lay out a grid using the gridify method, selecting multiple photos, clicking and dragging, and as you hold down the mouse, you use your arrow keys to design your grid. Well, I'm gonna to go to file and open. I'm gonna to go to chapter four, folder 21, gridify spacing. Okay, I've got just one little blank sheet of paper here. I'm going to hit Command D for a document. And again, Chapter 4, Folder 21. I'm going to select all four of the photos. I'll click Open. And now I've got these horizontal photos. So I want two on the top, two on the bottom. When I click and drag, I'm getting the one. So while I hold down the mouse, I'm going to hit the up arrow. There's two rows, and I'm going to hit the right arrow. Okay, but I don't like how close these photos are to each other. So while I'm holding down the mouse, I'm going to adjust the gridify spacing. So I'm holding down the mouse the whole time. I'm now going to hold down my command key and start hitting the up arrow. And I can push the spacing apart vertically. Hold down my command key, hit the right arrow key over and over and over. And I can adjust the spacing on my grid as I'm designing the grid. I let go of the mouse. There we go. Gridify spacing. Lots of keyboard shortcuts here. I clicked and dragged, hit the up arrow and the right arrow to design my grid. Then while I'm still holding down the mouse, I hold down the command key and that allows me to change the spacing between the grid. Really cool design trick all on the fly as I'm laying out multiple images at the same time. Gridify spacing.